Hey guys, welcome back. It is day 9 and 10. Um, so I decided to make a video of what I did um, today and yesterday. I have Judah in a triangle pen right now and I'm just feeding him some alfalfa hay and moving from his left eye to his right eye. I'm picking up my whip and I'm just going to touch them and rub them all over with it. So he, Judah is a, a really good boy. He just takes uh, about 10 to 15 minutes to kind of warm up. So I'm just kind of petting him and then giving him a reward for tolerating me. So what I've been doing for the past few days is just trying to get him more used to me, used to being touched in general, used to getting him around me. So I'll go in his pen and just clean out the manure and just walk around him and he usually just stands there and watches me. But as far as him taking really any interest in touching me so far, he has not done so. So I noticed that um, I have some uh, the golf cart behind him and he's a little worried about the golf cart being by his back end so I go out of the pen to move it and then um, he's taking that time to chow down. One good thing about him eating is that if he was really truly scared he would not be eating at all. So I startle him as I come in even though uh, I didn't really come in very quickly. I guess he just wasn't paying attention for a moment. And so I'm just kind of hanging out. And you can see he's moving in and out of my space and um, moving around. So I'm gonna feed him some more. He's thinking about it, but you can see his back legs are stuck. And plus he's got a little bit extra um, so I use some body language and I ask him to move his hindquarters over and he does and so I'm going to actually make this triangle a little bit smaller because Judah is a smaller horse he takes up a lot less space so I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so that I can actually reach out and touch him now I don't recommend that if you are inexperienced with wild horses that you do this because you could put too much pressure on them and get yourself hurt or get somebody else seriously hurt. So I only recommend doing this as an experienced horseman or with an experienced horseman. Alright, so I've coiled up the tail on my whip and rubbing him and then I found a patch of uh, alfalfa hay on the ground and so I am feeding that to him and I'm gonna get my bucket. Have you noticed that um, I'm moving fairly quickly. I'm, I really don't try to tiptoe around the horses that I work with. When you do tiptoe around horses and get kind of sneaky it makes them more worried. Now I'm I'm petting him um, I'm not really being sneaky with my hand. I mean, I'm petting him softly. I'm not going to pat him. Horses actually don't like it when you pat them. It's uh, very aggressive. It's something that we do as humans to like dogs, other predators and stuff. But horses really don't care for being pat. So I was just working on his halter a little bit there, grabbing his halter, touching his face a little bit. It's very natural that he is protective of his face. He's more comfortable with me on his left side when uh, we practice this technique than on his right. But when I'm leading him, he's more comfortable on his right side, which is very interesting. So I'm just moving his hair around, petting his neck, giving him some hay, and we're just kind of hanging out. Just hanging out next to each other, um, just getting him used to my touch, and hopefully he will figure out that 
this isn't so bad. And that eventually he will come to enjoy human touch and to be pet and to be brushed. But right now I can tell he's really enjoying that alfalfa. His body language is more relaxed. He's not as stiff. Oop, right there he jumped a little bit when I went to reach for him. He's still a little flinchy, but that's okay. These things are going to take time. So I'm going to move to his other side. I'm going to work on this side a little bit. He is really not comfortable on this side. So I'm just going to make the pin a little bit snugger. Um, it may not look like it from here, but he does have plenty of room. He's not completely wedged in between those panels. And so I'm going to give him some more hay as reward. And the reason why uh, I wedged it tighter is because I'm going to practice taking off and on his halter. So I'm unbuckling it. And then I'm going to slip it back on and off and on and off and back on. And he's actually really, uh, he seems pretty comfortable with this. He's not really reacting. He's just happily chewing and enjoying that hay. So this is all the video I have for you. I ran out of space on my iPad and so um, this is where it cuts out. Um, unfortunately, I did get the lead rope on him and we practiced our leading and he did really well. But um, like I said, unfortunately, I don't have that recording. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.